Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be ideal? Wait, what? No, bro, I don't want to be right in the camera. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Alright, I'm going to hand out papers and everything. You good? I think you're muted. Maybe your volume's down? Oh. What about now? How about now? Okay, yep, I can hear you. I, I can't hear you. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, no. <laughs> hmm. See. All right, I'm gonna end it really quick and start it up again. If she... I don't think so. She ain't muted. If she's talking, she ain't muted. If she was talking, she got. My little my. Did you come late? Where were you, Brad? Okay, just walks in the room. Art's literally right there. No, I'm glad I never saw you. Hello. Hello. All right, my thing's working, so. If it's an emergency and you can't wait 30 minutes, leave your book bag here because that probably slows you down. <laughs> what about now? Can you hear me now? No? I don't hear a thing. <laughs> Martin, I think I get nothing still. So. I know, I don't hear anything. You've been trying again. What about, yeah. you can hear me? Gotcha. Okay, I'm the yay. Ninja. That was Martin's help. I don't know, we just kept muting and unmuting. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I did it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hand out papers and everything. All right, I'm going to turn my face off. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone have binders, calculators. <clears throat> Why is your code on backwards? Johnny's doing this. Yeah. David, you're right. I love it. Well, you, you, kind of you even got your binder. I mean, this is like impressive stuff. Whatever's interesting, something new. Something new. We're gonna review a little bit of what we did okay. on Monday. Yes, yes. Exams are next week. I asked Miss. Um, Miss the 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 She's like she will, and then she literally never. I don't know. I think Miss Nolan and I have to talk about the exam stuff still. Like I gotta. Uh -huh. All right. Everyone have paper. You guys still haven't figured out your bucket exam list. The, I don't think we have a bucket list for exam. No, yeah. bucket is exam. Yeah, that's funny. What? Is that, look at it. There was like a science test yesterday. I didn't really get to study. So I didn't even study one bit of it. It's really I heard hard. you did good on it. And I got 100%. 100%? And I didn't even study. Wow, that is awesome. Very cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nothing. Nothing. I feel like you usually give us the most detailed responses and not nothing. What do you say? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I was, yeah, I was doing like, some kind of video. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, I do. I post YouTube stuff once in a while. I do the edit, I did edit like an hour or just a long time. Oh, wow. Are you, you, you going to edit? YouTube. Billy, do you want to use a lighter charger? Yeah. It's right there on top of Miss Hilbert's desk. What else? Anybody else? Josh, what about you? Don't tell me you just slept. And what else? Nothing? You don't know? Curtis, do you have a paper? Yeah. All right, make sure you have your binder, calculator, pencil, okay? Mm -hmm. It's annoying thing about it is it's hard to it's hard to keep a secret. No, you have a secret? No, no, it's hard to keep that secret. <laughs> oh, the YouTube. Well, maybe you can share with us at the end of class. I'd say I to like for like my parents. My parents are like, buy the whole body going so bad. Oh, they don't want you to have a YouTube channel. I, I don't know. To be honest, Which I just don't bother. I'm not sure. Buy me secret about it. Dude, that TikTok is really bad. I don't care. Yeah, it's all right, David should be back in a couple minutes, but let's get started, okay, guys? So I need everyone to focus up here. I'll wait for Jared to stop talking. And Martin. All right. You put me next to this kid. I know, we might have to move seats again. Please do. I'll go back to my corner. All right. Just for an entry. So let's talk a little bit about what we did on Monday, okay? Because it leads us into our next lesson. So what is something that we talked about on Monday? What can you think of? On uh, squirrels and beavers. Okay. I love Jared's example of <laughs> beavers and squirrels, right? We used beaver as our X and our squirrel as the Y, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we do um, domain and range? So I was going to ask you, what does X, domain. what are we, X was domain, and, and then our Y was range. range. Okay, good. So those were a couple of vocabs that we talked about. What else? What's like a big, the big word? Starts with the F. The big word that we talked about. Okay. Friendship or function? Friendship. Friendship. We're doing friendship. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. So functions. What were a function? How did we know when we were wait, looking wait. at our same pencil? Bro. Hey guys. I'll wait. Stop throwing stuff. Okay. Stop Ready? Stuff. So we said X was domain, Y was range. When we were talking about functions. How do we know if something was a function? How do we know if an equation was a function? Is x never a part? A plot. What did you said x never crosses over here? Repeats. X never crosses over. Yeah, so x never repeats, and if that happens, we know that it's a function. So what if x does repeat? What were we calling that? Not a function. Just not a function. Yeah, so that was what your in-class assignment was. You guys were looking at equations, you were looking at graphs, and you were trying to see if it was a function or not a function. Okay, so today we're going to go into evaluating functions. So now we're going to be given the equation and we have to evaluate these functions. Again, this goes back to what we've been doing all school year. We're looking at equations again, okay? And how to solve equations and plugging in for x, okay? So something that's going to look new today is this. F, x, and then it's going to equal an equation, okay? So this means the function of x, okay? So let's, we're going to go through, make sure that you guys are on the side of the page that says evaluating functions. The back side of this page is for us to do on our own, okay? This page. We're doing evaluating functions. Oh, we're doing evaluating functions. Yes, functions. yep. Good. Which one? With the word triangle or the word We're going to start, one? nope, it says evaluating functions at the top. Make sure you're on the page. Which one? The one that doesn't say try it. So just this one. Yep, okay. So we're going to start off, we're looking at A. So they're asking us to estimate or evaluate each function at the specific value. So what do you think we do when x is given? Just based off of what you're seeing on this page, what do you guys think we do when x is given? What do you think, Martin? 
But it by itself, okay, so we want to solve for x, you, yeah, that's correct, but, so it looks like this, the function of x equals negative 2x plus 7. Is this just the example? This is the example number one. That's then it says that x equals negative 12. So what do you think we do with the information that's given? What do you say? Oh, I'm on the try. Yeah, Whoops. So you're Flip it over, buddy. No, you just call me buddy. What? No, I was talking about. Seven X minus five. Okay. And X is six. So given this information, we're evaluating this function. What do you think the first step is going to do? And you, you've not been told this, so I'm just kind of trying to see where you're, where you're at. What do you think? Take a guess. What do you think? What do you think you do? You figure out. You got to get rid of the parentheses so you find it. Okay, that's okay. a good guess. But that's just it's just saying the function of x. Okay, the function of x, and we're given x. So what do you think we do with it, Martin? What do you think? Okay, so you guys are thinking of the steps to solve an equation, but this is where this Wait, is new. Where are we on? We're on question one. Flip your page over. Flip it over. Yep. So, number one? Yeah. Okay, so guys, it's as simple as we're just going to take what they give us and plug it in to anywhere that we see x. So, the function of 6 equals 7 instead of x, it's going to be what? Um, we have like this. Like yep. This. So, instead of x, x equals what? Where should I write this at? Right yeah. under your problem, number one. It's a 6, right? Okay, so we're trying to solve for the function of 6. What does it mean when numbers are next to each other? 6, what, or 7, what, 6? Times? Yep, times. So what is 7 times 6? 42. 42. Double check. 42. What did you get, Josh? 42. 42. Perfect. Minus 5. 42 minus 5. 37. Okay? Guys, that is it. So the function of 6 equals 37. That is your answer. Do we write that on the line here? Yep. That is your answer. So when you are given x, you plug it in for all this all the spots that you see x. You substitute it. Yeah, I know. I need something that's three to be said. So they're saying when the function is six, it would equal thirty-seven. Is that easy? No. All right, we'll do another one. You do number. You don't get it. No. Uh, we're part of one headquarters. Right, she's gonna do them all. We're gonna do all these together. You do. I do some by her own at the lunch, maybe. Yep, and then you're gonna do some on your own after lunch. And then we're done. That's it. All right. So number two, we have f of x equals nine x plus three. X is what? What is? What do they give us? X is okay. So similar to this first problem, what? What's the first thing we're gonna do? Connor, what do you think? Are we putting a negative 10 under the x? Yeah, anywhere that you see x, we're going to plug in negative 10 because x equals negative 10. So the function of negative 10 equals, wait, is it equals, equals 9 plus 3. Okay, well, there it's 9x. So when a number is next to a number or a number is next to a variable, that means it's being what? Transformed. Not divided, it's being multiplied. multiplied. So 9 times negative 10, and then plus 3. Uh, is the number that is always equal, is always the one that it talks in? Yep, that's one that you're going to plug in for x. Okay. Okay? So pretty simple, right? Yep. So now we have to solve this. 
Nine times negative 10 is what? Let me see, what about Curtis, what do you think? Negative 90, okay, plus three. What's negative 90 plus three? What do you think? Negative 87. Negative 87, good. Is that all? That's it, that's your answer. So F of negative 10 equals negative 87. Why does your seven look like a backwards S? What'd you say? Why does your seven look like a backwards S? Um, I don't know, I put a little dash through it so it doesn't look like a one. Do you want me to just leave it like this? <laughs> negative 87? Oh, does that make a little bit more sense? So whatever the x is given, you just plug it into to the x's, wherever you see an x, and you solve. Okay? Good, Billy? Yeah. Okay. Good, good. What do you have? Yeah, thanks for The green is the first one, and then the purple is your second one, David. Cool. All right, I'm going to give David a couple seconds just to fill it in. Do you guys want to go on and try? No. No, you help us. Wait. No. I need to let her finish. You need to let her finish. I was just going to say, if you guys want to move on and try the next one until I'm, until David's done, then I'll, I'll catch up. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I said, yeah. Why would I do the work? Because you need to learn how to do it. I will on my own. Right now, I don't have to. I do that because it always it always shout out like an answer. Right? Do you remember Jones? Yeah, David, are you good with this first one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. We have to evaluate each function. So before we were looking at the specific value which x was given, now this next one is still going to be set up with f of x equals negative 8. So they want us to find Based off of what we did here, what do you think this means? What is this negative 3 representing? X. X, right? So it's just given in a different way. Before we were given it as X equals negative 10. Now they're kind of just trying to trick you up and putting the function of negative 3. But it's still your X. So it's so always 2, 3 times 8. Yes. Well, so let's plug in. If we know that this is X, let's plug in where we see an X. So 8. X. Well, what is this? What's that number? Negative three. Negative three. So negative eight. We know that because these are next to each other, what's happening? Times. They're times. being multiplied. So we're going to plug this negative three in for your x. And three. Yeah. Okay. Now this looks exactly the same as this, right? So what do we do? Times. We just solved. So, yep, negative 8 times negative 3. What do you guys get? I don't know. I'm doing it right now. 24 minus 24. 24. 24? Yes. And, and it's positive because a negative times a negative yeah, yeah. is a positive. I, I got the next part. Okay, what's 24 minus 9? 15. 24 minus 9 is 15. I didn't see so the function of negative 3 equals 15, and that's what they wanted us to find, right? Find f of negative 3. f of negative 3 equals 15. What? I said f of. I thought you were saying f or f of. Simple? Got it now, you think? A little bit more? So the more practice we do, the better we'll get? All right. Alright, you have this one copied out, right, David? Okay. You have this, this, yep, that was the second one. Now this is number uh, three. Okay. It's B1. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm ready. Does someone want to come up and try this one? I'll try it. I'll try it. You know me. Hey, uh, Connor. Connor's good. I think, Connor, your hand was up first. Start it. Why should you have a rocket with Steve? Who? Connor. 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 Connor.
go. Well, whatever, make me know. Are you using my paper to help me? Yeah. All right, so again, this is set up like this equation over here. They want us to find f of negative 15. So let's see what Connor does. Four right there, the same as the cap. Oh, you put him there. Yeah. You're doing great, Connor. That's done. I got it. All right. Wait. 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 Josh, can I buy you? Let him borrow your cousin. Connor, Connor here. What the heck? Josh, what is that all about? Josh, Josh is not going to move the share, I guess. He's greedy. <laughs> He's a greedy boy. Josh is a greedy boy. Oh, excuse me. I literally have trouble spelling the word answer. All right, what do we think? Is this what everybody did? No, I did. I did. Why do you think it's wrong, Owen? You didn't say that because you said it. All right, hold on, guys. I want to hear why Owen thinks it's wrong. So I think it crashes with my hand. No, everybody does. You plugged in the same thing? Yeah. Did you get the same answer of negative 60? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I agree So just because it says 4x, guys, and it doesn't say 4x plus something or minus something, it's we still do the same, the same thing, right? They give us f of negative 15, which what's inside of this usually is an x. So the number is going to represent x. So anywhere we or anywhere Connor saw an x, he plugged in negative 15. So we got 4 times negative 15 equals negative 60. Everyone agree? Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Golf clap. Let's do. We're gonna. Let's hold off because we have four more that we're gonna review after lunch. Okay. So just keep everything where it's at. We'll review the next four after lunch, and then you guys are gonna have something to do on your own. Okay. Pretty simple stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Everyone has a sound show. Everyone wrote all the sound. Yeah. David, you're good with this? Yeah. Thank you.